Uh, good evening, everybody. Hope everyone's okay. Um, depending on where you are, I, you are in the world, I guess. It's a uh, good morning, I know, for some people. Um, and very in, uh, in the middle of the night for others, if you're over in uh, Europe and the UK. Um, so anyway, it's a nice, beautiful morning here in the Philippines. Uh, how you doing, Rob? I'm doing great. How are you doing this morning? I'm really pumped this morning, actually, because we've got some fantastic information to bring everybody. Um, you've been using this tool for, for some time, and... and um, and and you've given, you've been getting some some well you've been giving me the heads up and say Paul this is fantastic this this tool is great so I've got my head around it now and I tend to agree I tend to agree this is a great tool so uh, you know I'm I'm really excited to to bring this to everybody um, the tool is actually A Z Mazo so that's A Z M A Z O dot com so this is the front page where I'm at at the moment as you can see. Um, so we can we're going to go through this. Basically, what we're going to do is just go through one aspect because there's there's a number of different tools, um, same as a lot of these uh, software out there at the moment. Uh, there's a number of different tools within the package, but we're going to go over the the optimizer. So this is basically your Amazon listing optimizer. So we're going to go over this tool today. Uh, we're going to cover the others uh, later on in a different session. Uh, as and when we get to it, but uh, it's, it's all about listing at the moment. Um, if you're new to the um, to the group, you'll be finding a product, searching the product, uh, getting samples over. Then the next stage is to to go through the listing, and, and we've actually started to to look at that over the last few weeks. So we're going to be going over at listing. I'm gonna I'm gonna share my screen, but uh, Rob's going to be jumping in from every now and again. Um, to help well, out. Paul, um, so, yeah, go ahead, Paul. So uh, let's kind of cover what's happened here. I think it's super important. Um, one of the reasons, and one of the reasons why I think it's important um, for us to have this group um, and to be a part of a group is because some of the stuff you're going to hear today isn't out there. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying none of it's out there, but a lot of it's out there because this is this is brand new stuff. That Amazon has changed in the last probably two to three weeks. Um, I mean, there has been a dramatic change in the way Amazon is what we call indexing your keywords or keywords associated with your product. Now, the the word indexing, I think uh, we got to define a little bit, and and I'm going to give my best definition, and Paul, you can give one your, as yourself. But indexing means is that Amazon basically is paying attention to it. Meaning Amazon says, oh, that's a word that's associated with that product. We'll now, when people search for it, we'll now propagate their product because, oh, they have this word that seems like it's associated with that product. And when somebody searches for heavy duty hair dryer, this is a hair dryer that's a heavy duty hair dryer. It's got a, a cord that is twice as strong and puts more current through it. I don't, you know, but that's that's what indexing is and 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 super important because what has happened is that you know the 5000 characters that they were allowing in the back end has dramatically changed um and we're going to show you some of that we're going to try to uh go in the back end of a listing and show you um an actual product um that we were indexing about 2500 characters and we'll actually see what's indexing right now and we'll see whether it is indexing. So Paul, we may even want to use that as, I mean, you can use the copper bands, but we can also use that in along the process. But what we're going to do is, is we're going to show you how this has changed because I haven't changed those keywords in the back end yet. And we're actually in the process of optimizing this. And, and this program that we're using um, is, is something that um, the owner of this program they just literally, the part that we're going to show you today, which is how do you optimize your listing, is um, it's new. And um, because Amazon changed the whole program on us, which is crazy. Hey, you know, hey, hey, sellers, how about we give you a, a heads up to what we're doing, how things are working? No, Amazon just does it. Um, so I, there are so many people out there right now that are suffering and don't know they're suffering. Um, so that, that that's a big concern for everybody because if Amazon isn't indexing the word copper bands and you're a copper band or the word copper, then you have a huge problem because now when you go to search for your product, um, you're going to come up in less searches 
um, because of it. So, um, and in the listing, um, we're finding that um, bullet points are now being um, indexed at this point. So bullet points come back to being important again. Now, depending on how you do that, we're gonna have to kind of come up with a strategy where before we were only interested in having uh, the one line of, of keywords um, and keeping that short and to the point. Now, we're gonna have to reevaluate that a little bit over the next week um, because now they're indexing the bullet points. So we wanna make sure, and, and, and Amazon has come down to thinking that about a thousand characters of keywords I think is their number now. I, I think they went crazy when they did 5,000. 5,000 was absolutely too many um, to be able to, to, to because there were such bizarre things. I mean, when you, you, when you index 5,000 keywords um, for a product or 5,000 characters, um, there's just not that many words that are associated with any product that would give you 5,000 of them that were remotely, you know, uh, associated. Uh, I looked at a list the other day and I mean, the most bizarre things you've ever seen in your life would come up and it's like, and that must be because somebody bought that program or bought that product one time because of that or something. I don't, I don't know, but it, it wasn't effective as far as I could see. Um, and prior to a couple of months ago, um, they were only indexing about half of the 5,000 anyway. And then the problem is, is that there are five distinct spaces. Well, what ones were they indexing? Were they indexing ones in number two or number three or number five? And we were finding that, you know, if you mixed up your keywords and didn't have your most important keywords in the right space, they weren't indexing, which was a huge problem. So our main thing is, is we're going to look for a thousand characters of keywords and try to come up with that and says, you know, these are the words that really matter. So my, my big thing is, is, Let's find a thousand of them that are on point and let's just make sure we use them throughout our listing, throughout our description, throughout our bullet points. And, um, you know, we'll make sure that those are the ones that we use the most. And we may even want to come up with what I call the hit list, which may be, you know, 500 characters of keywords that are the most important and most relevant. So um, that's just my spiel on um, on on keywords this morning and and how important that they are and um, how they have changed and how Amazon has changed the program on us yet again. Now, that's why, that's why I think tools are important. So tools are important because they allow you to find this out. There's no way on the earth you could do any of this on your own. Um, there are some people coming out with some other pieces of software and things like that and other tools. And we'll be talking about those ones as well as we move forward. All right, Paul, so uh, share with us what you got on the AZ Optimizer. Yeah, you know, that, that was a pretty good intro into why we're working with this because you know, Amazon have changed the, the algorithm and everything. Ooh, echo, echo, echo. There we go. So indexing, I think it's spot on, Rob. It's, it's really one of those cases where if you've got a particular keyword, um, Amazon's uh robot i guess or uh, within their algorithm will go and search because someone's actually put in for a hairdryer and if you've got a hairdryer in there they're going to match it up so matching is indexing indexing is matching and and basically uh that's that's how you get your product shown to somebody um i think rob covered that quite well right so this is the home page um so all you got to do there is just click on whichever one you want to go into and log in sign in um, it's a small monthly fee on this. So it's not a major issue. Um, so I'm going to just jump straight into, I'm already logged in. So I'm going to go straight into the optimizer. And here we are into the AZ optimizer. Now we've got some demos and, and instructions here. Um, so if you have a look at that, um, it gives you some pretty good um, walkthrough on how to use this particular product. And, and you've got all of the different videos in there. All right, so that's basically where we are. But we're going to focus over here on the, the generator tools. Okay, so once I get going, I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm actually doing. Um, but I'm going to start from the top, and I'm basically going to work all the way down to the bottom um, because it's in a logical order. So let's start with the keyword generator. Um, so if I just select that, let that load. And, and basically what we're doing here is I've got... Um, 
I've got uh, Amazon open already. Okay, so I'm going to be using Amazon there. I'm going to close down the home screen. I'll, I'll pull that up later. Um, so basically what we're going to be doing is I'm going to use the same uh, example as, as what they've got in the videos just to make it easy for you, even make it easy for, uh, for you to follow along. Um, but then we're going to go back into one of our live listings, okay, and we're going to do some double checks later on, okay, using this particular tool. Um, so I'm going to do a search for a random product. Um, copper bracelet. Let's see what it comes up with. Basically, what we're trying to find here is uh, the the best keyword that we can actually put in here uh, into this search term, into the tool itself. Um, so if we have a look at this and see what uh, other people are using. Now, bearing in mind that the title is very important. The title always has been very important. It's always been indexed. So therefore, you know, you've got to have your keywords in there. In the old days, as in a few years back, you know, people used to call what they call a uh, keyword stuffing on the, on the title. Um, and the title had um, some crazy length, uh, 2,000 characters or something like this. It wasn't necessarily a title. It was just, it just got out of hand. So Amazon saw that and cut that back. And I think it's uh, either 100 or 200 characters you're allowed now in your title, depending on what category you're in, uh, which makes it more sense. But nevertheless, you still need the right keywords in there. Uh, to make it meaningful. So let's have a look through, see what we've got here with respect to, we've got copper magnetic therapy, bracelet, arthritis, um, copper bracelet, that seems to be uh, sort of the one, um, bracelet for man, magnetic, magnetic seems to be coming up quite a bit. Um, but uh, I'm gonna put in uh, copper magnetic bracelet. Okay, because that seems to be the predominant um, keyword that I'm seeing there. Uh, magnetic bracelet, and then I'll just do retrieve. Now, this is only showing half a page, but uh, once I do this, you just pre press uh, retrieve. Then I'll zoom in so we can actually have a look at the results. Now, on and on, I'm not going to go too crazy because. I know that if we put later on, when we put too many search terms in, it just takes about 15 minutes. And, and I don't want everybody to be sitting here. No, oh, maybe I spelled that wrong. Let me, uh, let me pull one of these up and uh, copy it. Let's do copper bracelets, see what that actually comes up with. Okay. Yeah, because I don't want to be sitting here for 15 minutes just wasting everybody's time. So I'm just going to keep things short, and then we're going to switch over. Yeah, go ahead, Rob. You, 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 had, it, you had it spelled wrong there, I think, the first yeah, time. That's what I thought. I put an E instead of an A, didn't I? So as you can see, it's coming back with a, a number of different results here. Now let me zoom in so we can see what we're going on here. Make sure I'm on the right screen. Okay. Right, so if I scroll down over on the left-hand side, we can see there's 60 results. And what's good about this particular program, um, it will give you the um, the keyword. Okay, now bearing in mind, we've already described this over the last couple of weeks. This uh, is four words. That is classed as a keyword or search term or long-tail keyword because it's it's longer uh, we won't get into the technicals on that but uh, it's basically just a keyword all right now what it also gives us is a search is per month all right so on this one it's got eighty thousand one hundred and fifty four searches per month inside amazon uh, this is purely amazon nothing else uh, for the search term of copper bracelets for arthritis all right and then it's got a relevancy this score over on the right hand side is very important this is relevancy how relevant is it to this search term that we put in. Now we put in copper bracelet. Um, so this this is giving us uh, a 1.94 score, um, which is pretty good. So if you get under one, it's uh, less relevant um, to what we put in. Okay, so what I'd like to do now is go back over here. Let's go back over to the main search. Um, 
and see how many pages roughly we've got there. We've got 20 pages. Now, is there a better search term that we could use? Um, well, what we could do is go back over here, yeah, um, and have a look at copper bracelets for men. So I'm going to copy that and put that as the seed keyword. So I'm going to copy that, throw that in there, and just see what else I get. Now, before I do that, I could actually uh, sort of download these results um, or save them. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, retrieve this um, so you can download the results there. But I'm going to always come back to this. It didn't take long. So retrieve now. And see what we come up with copper bracelets for men because don't forget all of this we're, we're looking for less competitive market less competitive keywords less competitive um pay-per-click aspects so this is only brought up six all right but you can see the key the relevant keyword here copper bracelets for men that's obviously going to be spot on because that is exactly the search term we put in so you can see how this relevancy score is working over here. Look at down at the bottom is 0 0.6 as brass bracelets. All right, bracelets is in there, but it's brass. It's a totally different material. All right, so that's that's not ideal for what we're doing. So I'm going to go back to copper bracelets um, and stick with that. And I'm going to download those results. And let's uh, move on to the next tool so we can start to analyze this. So let's go and get our copper bracelets list. I'm going to download that. And then we can have a look at how to how to optimize that in the next tool. Like I said, I'm just going to be working for the top tool. I'm going to be working down simply because they're in a logical order. So we've got our 60 back here. So I'm now going to download the results. I'm just hey, going hey, to uh, put it on a desktop. Yes, hello. Hey, so uh, one of the things that you can realize here too is, is this can be used. So basically that tool right there is the same as what merchant words are meaning so that is the same tool as merchant words it's basically telling you the search volume of certain words associated words and such um, and right now I would tell you to not if you have a merchant words account I would tell you to cancel it right now um, they are having horrible difficulties and it may be because of the update it may be i don't know but i can tell you this that their their search terms and their information is just horrific right now it, it's not pulling up the right stuff i mean it's giving bizarre answers that i know are not right so right now if you have that i would put it on pause and do not use merchant words right now i'm not suggesting you only use this tool but I'm just telling you in general, Merchant Words is not working appropriately right now. And it's been over three weeks that it has not. Matter of fact, it was so much so that I contacted them. They said, hey, we'll give you a new update, which is our beta version that we're using. And I've used the beta version and the beta version isn't any well. And this has been confirmed by two or other three users that I've talked with as well. So this is, and, and regardless of whether that's just an update on, on Merchant Words, but this does the same thing as Merchant Words. And like I said, it's, I'm not, not promoting this over merchant words um, but right now this seems to be working better than what merchant words are as well as um, it does not give you a relevancy score um, and um, you know so that gives you a little bit more heads up of what it is because obviously copper bracelets is the number one thing and that's what we want and then it goes down and shows you hey and then that's what we're talking about those are the keywords that you want to index first are the ones that have the highest um, relevancy so those are ones that we want to make sure inside our listings that we can get as many of those top relevant keywords indexed first you know I mean there's no sense in getting brass bracelets indexed or the word brass anywhere if if you don't have you know uh, cuff copper cuff bracelets you know if you want the word cuff to index you want cuff to index over brass so um, anyway, I just thought I'd tell you that, that basically this tool does the same thing right there in that point for searches per month. It gives you the same information as um, would be a uh, merchant words. Yeah, that's a very good point. And you're right, we're on the beta version at the moment. That's um, throwing up errors. Right, so let's, let's move. Now we've downloaded that. Um, we can see that down here. I'm going to open that up in a second. Um, but uh, let's jump over to the next tool. Um, and this is a really cool tool. This is the Optimizer 4K Search Term Generator. So I'm just going to click that and let's have a look around this. All 
So just let that load for a second. Okay, now it's got some instructions at the top here, but basically this is all about the back end um, and, and getting your, your 4,000 characters or 5,000 characters in there. Um, so the 4K generator tool is developed to give you up to 4,000 characters, including spaces, to be able to fill your back end search term fields. All right, so let's have a look at doing that. Um, now let me let me just walk you through this a little bit. So it's got uh, a number of different spaces. I think there's 15 different spaces here that allow you to to put in various different search terms that are relevant to your particular product. Now you can actually select which uh, field you're actually selling in. So if you're selling in the UK, you can go to the UK marketplace, um, Canada, Mexico, or some of the European ones. But uh, we're, we're going to be sticking to with uh, the top dot com. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open up my keywords, and I'm going to be selecting some of those keywords to actually put in there. So open up on my other screen, so I'll just drag that over so you can see that. Um, just jump that over a little bit. So we can now see we've got exactly that same set of data, but now in a spreadsheet format. Or it's a CSV format, similar type of thing. So I can now actually look at some of these and think, you know what? Yeah, let's try it. Let's try some of that. So obviously, copper bracelets is exactly what we're after here. So I'm just going to flick that over to my other screen so I can copy and paste, copy and paste. And so be, you'll be able to see the results coming in anyway. Um, so copper bracelet, so I'm just going to copy that in there and, and drop that into the first space. And I'm just going to tab over to the next slot. Um, copper bracelets for men. I'm going to copy that. And drop that in. Yeah. Now, on here, before I go too far, um, let me read some of the, the basic rules, not necessarily rules, but the guidelines. Um, what they're saying is enter phrases between two and four characters, which we're doing. Um, if you put in one word, as in copper or bracelet, that's going to be too vague. That's going to be too broad, okay, for the programs. And that's going to bring back all sorts of nonsense. Um, that's going to bring back diamond bracelets or, you know, uh, some of these um, friendship bracelets. We're not interested in that. We're interested in copper bracelets. If I just put in copper, that could bring back copper mule mugs, copper saucepan. Irrelevant. I'm not interested in that. So this is why I say I'm putting more than one word because then uh, you've got some definition of what you're actually looking for. All right. So and what they're saying is try and keep this to about five five to six keywords to start with then go and retrieve see if it comes up with anything sometimes it'll come up with an error which we may see um, but keep on adding words to this as you get down no need to fill out all of these 15 to start with all right so let's jump in there and continue to to put some in there um rob mentioned copper cuff bracelets i'm gonna copy that and throw that one in there i'm gonna add uh, another three here see what we get um Copper for arthritis. That looks pretty good. Sorry about that. And then we've got over here copper bracelets for arthritis. That was the second one down. I'm going to throw that in. And I'm just going to put one more in to see what we get. I'm just going to scroll down the list a little bit on my end. Um, the, 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 we did have some magnetic ones which i'm going to have a look at see if i can find but they're down a bit here's one it's got a relevancy score of 1.4 so that's pretty cool so I'm going to go with that. All right, so now I've got six search terms in here. I'm not going to fill up all of the spaces just in case I need them later. And I'm going to do a, a retrieve. All right. So hopefully that won't take too long um, to go and retrieve all of that. But basically what's going to do is bring back 4,000 um, characters. And because this is an intelligent program, what it does is when it brings back those search terms, it's going to sort them into the 4,000 characters. Now, it's got four separate spaces that it's gonna provide you information in. Now, the top space, it will have the, the, the 1,000 characters that are most relevant, okay? And the second set of 1,000 characters will be slightly less, less relevant. So here, we've got an error, okay? So it's the 5K relevant 
uh, characters not found. I need to add in more. So I'm just going to go backspace to bring up my uh, searches here. Um, now, inside, I'm using the same same example as, as what's inside the um, the training inside this particular program. Um, so, and I wanted to do this because there's a workaround. If you don't know what a workaround is, you could be here for a long time trying to figure it out. Um, now, if this doesn't actually work, what they're saying here is don't forget to put in one uh, more than one word. Um, but sometimes you can actually sort of bend the rules, as it were, um, and potentially force the issue. Um, and one of the things that uh, sort of the guy had done to show an example is put in arthritis. Now, obviously, that's going to come back, but you're looking at arthritis for the wrist. Um, now, you wear the copper bracelet for a various different reasons. Um, wrist pain. So I'm going to put that in now. And see what we get now. So we should have a better set of results come back. Now, again, some of this does take a little bit while, so I'm just going to carry on where I left off. Um, so on the results, it will actually show us 4,000 sets of words or 4,000 characters, and it will break that down into 1,000 characters each block. Now, the top block is the most relevant. So basically, they will be the most relevant keywords that this actually finds. The next block down will be slightly less relevant, and depending on where you are in the world it'll actually give you if i scroll back up here it'll actually give you um i think a 30 35 translations so yeah we got 35 terms based on the platform you're in as a translation so we could actually see some spanish or or something like that so right okay here we go we got the results um uh, it's, it's, you know, it, it's small because they're, they're small characters. But um, as you can see down here, we've got Ireland, by Melbourne, Pinky. These are less relevant. These are in the bottom here. And the top, you would actually see arthritis, pain, wrist, copper bracelets, rheumatoid, magnetic hand bracelets. So this is very relevant. This is more relevant to what we're actually looking at. Okay, so which is really cool. So what I'm going to do now is save this file. And again, I'm just going to download that to my desktop. Um, so I'm just going to call that uh, sort of the 5K result. So I know what it is. All right. So and again, we can come back to this later on. OK, now this is very relevant uh, on the next section. So let's jump over to the next tool. Now we've got these particular keywords. So I'm now going to go down to um, the AZ index generator. <laughs> Sorry about that, team. Right, AZ optimizer indexing. All right, so let's jump over there. Okay, right. So what we do now is go and have a look at one of our competitors and generally just pick the, the top guy. Um, so one would assume that the top seller or the best seller on here has got um, this earth therapy. He's got 552 um, uh, reviews. It's looking pretty good. Um, these top spots are sponsored ads, so I'm going to click those. So I'm going to basically open up this, this particular listing here. Okay, what I'm going to do now is take the the ASIN number. If you don't know how to find the ASIN number, you can find it in two particular places. One, you can scroll all the way down to the information. Here we go, product details, and you can find the ASIN there. Okay, or secondly, it's up in the URL. And it's the, it always starts with B0 something. And as you can see here, whoopsie, where is it? I can't believe I said that. So it's um, just that one there. Okay, so if I'm going to copy that, I'll then come back over to the um, 
to the tool here now just put in the ASIN number there now it does say here that if your listing has variations then a child ASIN should be used now our particular listing that uh, we're going to have a look at later that has a, a quite a few number of um, variations so therefore we in that particular case we would pick one of the child products not the parent uh, one of the child ones and and uh, add that ASIN into here. So anyway Let's add ASIN in now. Now maximum a thousand characters and you think oh well, hold on a minute Where do I get those from? Well, that's what we've done previously. So this is what I'm saying these tools work in a logical process All right, so now what you would normally do if I'm, I'm not going to do this now because uh, we just haven't got time to do it but what I would normally do is is open up this particular um set of uh of words let me zoom in that's probably too much uh, let me zoom into these all right and what i would do is i would just go through these and just double check double 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 check make sure they're all relevant um and just swap out some that um i think you know what i, I think that that's that's clearly not um the, the software has obviously picked up something from somewhere from one of those words that I actually forced it to, to give me some results with. Um, but in this case, it doesn't look too bad. Um, so basically, I know that this is a thousand characters. So what I'm going to do is copy that, go back over here, and just add my thousand characters in there. All right. So now what you could do is this is not limited to a thousand characters, by the way. You can actually put in more than a thousand characters. You can put in five thousand, you can copy all of that and put it in there. But bearing in mind the more keywords you put in, the longer this search will be. Okay, so hopefully this won't take us too long. All right, so let's have a look. Now, what we're doing here is seeing which words are indexed. And now I'm just gonna run this just to see where we are. And I'm going to go back over into our live listing and then I'm going to take out some of our keywords from our, our live listing to see where we are from an indexing point of view. Now, as you can see, this is now indexing, indexing. It's going to take uh, sort of a few minutes to, to get the results through. Well, here's an interesting thing, Paul, um, and, and we ain't talked about it yet, but as you can see, somebody's calling me, as you can see, you um you can spy on your competitors keywords meaning yes you can check and see what other people are indexing yeah absolutely now what we're doing here is we are trying to optimize our listing now bearing in mind this is a brand new listing i'm just about to launch the uh you know, hypothetical um copper bracelet um, but you're absolutely right. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to go in and put in the ASIN like we did in the previous one. And that's going to give you all of those search terms. Okay. Uh, or the, the particular keyword. So you can um, have a look at that. And basically, in essence, that's what we're doing. Because what we're doing is we're spying on this particular guy here. Yeah. Because we've got his ASIN. Yeah, we're seeing which ones of his words, what in 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 essence, um, are indexing. Okay, so as you can see, as that's processing through, you'll be able to see two lists starting to generate. Okay, on the left hand side, those products or those keywords that are indexed. In other words, Amazon recognizes these words, and these words will be used when they are working out their algorithm to show your listing show your product to somebody that's searching for it so if somebody's putting in their uh, copper wrist bracelets you can see these three words there for sure Amazon recognizes these words and therefore they will be indexed and therefore your product will be shown as a search result okay but if someone's put in their um, brace for um, elbow problems potentially um your product may not be shown it probably will not be shown okay because amazon are not indexing it they're not taking any notice of what's going over here on the right hand side now again what we could use these unindexed words for is a competitive advantage so compression 
all right all right may not be useful in this particular um case but exercises that may well well work arm you get arm ache if you get wrist ache if you get wrist ache you use a copper bracelet for example so we may be able to use arm in there fingers injury so if you've got an um, particular injury we could actually start to use that particular word and get that index we could actually start to bring that into our our listing and because we know our competitor this guy here the number one spot is not getting that word indexed we can actually get that word indexed by including into our title into our bullet points which we'll come over into in a minute you see what i'm saying so we know all of these words here and, and once this is finished we'll download them and we can use these are being indexed and these ones over on the right hand side are not being indexed so this is a particular area look cuff now we use that as one of our keywords but our competitor does not have that word indexed so do you think that we could actually use that word and get a competitive advantage i think so I think so. If we start to use cuff in a relevant places, which we know, if we put a word in a particular place, Amazon will index it, i.e. the title, i.e. the bullet points, which Rob said to start with. Um, now, this algorithm change, that only happens at the beginning of this month, around the 6th of May. So this is all very, very, this, this is finger on the pulse stuff, really. Um, and if you watch the, the some of the training videos inside here, the the, the owner of the, the software or the developer of the software is not just a software guy. He's also a multi-million um, dollar Amazon seller himself with uh, with a number of different accounts and, and and doing it live. Okay, so he's done the test. He's got the data, and he can show you some of the data that uh, he's uncovered with respect to this, and the bullet points are now indexing um, more than what they have done in the past um, whereas in the past they were just make sure you got your benefits and features in there um, less features more benefits um, but now it's more make sure we've got the benefits and keywords okay so let's uh, let's look at something um, along the lines of this so basically what I'm going to do now is pull up my uh, my keywords which I had over here um, this is my main keywords from the keyword generator. I'm going to open up another another tab Okay, and I'm now going to just copy in the index so I'm now going to go Indexed so I know exactly what that is and I'm going to open up another tab call that Not Indexed Okay, so I know exactly where I am. So I'm going to go back to the index tab, bring that down, copy that, bring this up again, just paste those in now, make that a sensible size and font so I can read it. Okay, so I've now got some relevant keywords that are indexed. All right, so just for my simplicity, I like to color code things so i like to put a green if it's good i indexed and um potentially a, a different color for not index so let's let's get the non-index ones in there so let's copy that and again you can just download them if you want i just um i just keep things easy and keep things on one spreadsheet it's just the way i roll so i'm just going to paste those in now and again just make that a relevant font so i like it make that a size so i can read it nothing to do with my age please Get those in there like that. Okay, so we can now come roll down here. It's got 110 particular keywords from the thousand characters that we put in there for him to check or for this software to check. All right, 110 are not indexed. So I'm going to make that an alternative color. I'm going to put that as a, a sort of an orangey color. If I make it red, I can't read it. Um, so again, if I just zoom in now, you'll be able to see some of these words I've just copied straight through. Um, there's our word um, cuff in here. 
I quite like that as a word that we could actually use to get a competitive advantage over our competitors. Okay, and I would do exactly the same as what I've just done there. Look through this and highlight the ones that uh, are potentially um, that I could use effects. Well, okay, maybe. Um, anyway, you, you get the idea. So definitely this cuff one, I would um, I would highlight that as a, a blue and say, you know what, let's do something with that word. Let's not mess around. Don't forget, these are the index ones. These are already being indexed. Arthritis, pain, risk, copper bracelets, magnetic bracelet. Okay, so we've got bracelets, bracelet. Now, what, our, what again, Amazon changes things up from every now and again, and sometimes they will differentiate. They know that if you put bracelets, it also means bracelets. Or if you put bracelets, it also means bracelet. Right now, these are two separate things. So Amazon will look at bracelets and they will ignore bracelet because this has got an S on it and it's spelled differently, so therefore it's a different word. All right, so you need to make sure that you're using singles and plurals where required. Okay, so you can see um, all of these uh, particular words are being indexed, carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, magnets. We had magnet earlier wrists wrist uh, you can see where we're going there all right so now we've got that list now we can start to to think about crafting out our list all right so we've now got exactly what the competitor is using we know what's indexed so before we do that i just want to go back in and show you um some of the things inside the back end now this is the back end of one of our listings. this is live um, so if you want to go and search for that and purchase that, please do. No problems. Um, but uh, as you can see here, we've got some various different information in here. We've got keywords. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about with respect to the, the 5,000 or 1,000 characters, it's the search terms. Okay. Now, this is where the um, – if I bring this uh, document up. Now, we had 1,000 characters here. Thousand characters there, thousand characters there, or less though there because there wasn't wasn't that many to go around. Um, but where you can put those is under these search terms, under keywords. All right. So if you go back in under keywords, under search terms, it's got a thousand characters in here, thousand characters in the second one, third one, fourth one, and fifth one. All right. So if I just go Control A, Control C, so select all and copy, um, then we can come back over here. We're going to throw that in. All right, so there are our keywords there. We obviously need to go and get our ACE in. Um, so on, the, on your back end listing, it's always at the top, so I know exactly where that is. So I just copy the ACE in there. We'll throw the ACE in number. This is the child, by the way. So that's the child ACE in. Then we can do a search there, and that will tell us how many are indexed. Bearing in mind that the algorithm has changed, <clears throat> and we checked this on a regular, I think we checked it uh, sort of the back end of last week at some point, and um, there were about 30% indexed. Um, but let's have a look in there as that rolls through. So, anyway, I'm just going to show you some other areas that are important um, on the back end. Now, one of the one of the one of the huge finds with respect to the algorithm changed uh, uh, just a few weeks ago is that these words in the back end are being indexed less we're not sure how much yet but they're certainly being indexed less than what they were in the past one huge change is this subject matter here all right these are being indexed 100 percent. so if we put in winter there and someone puts in uh winter all right, that'll be indexed 100%. So we haven't actually optimized this as yet, and that's one of the jobs that we're going to be doing over today, stroke tomorrow, is going through and optimizing this subject matter. All right, so basically what we can do in here is just put in your keywords. Just put in the keywords that you really, really want to index for, the top five. All right, so we've got a space for, for one more in here, so I could actually put five in there, all right, So which, um, which we will do. Uh, and bearing in mind that we've got uh, we've got about 20 
different um, sort of listings under one parent here. So we need to go and do that logically. I'm not just going to do it now. But this is one of the things that I would put in here for our particular, um, as you can see, the, the product's an iPad case, right? It's a bump case. It's a, it's a strong, durable um, case for your iPad. And, and if you drop it, it's got a four feet drop test and it, it won't break. Basically, your iPad won't break. It protects your iPad brilliantly. Um, we do very similar sizes, different colors. And as you can see, there's uh, a number of different, uh, I don't know, there's about six different colors. We do iPad, iPad Air, I have Mini, one, two, three, four, iPad, three, four. Um, the new iPad that's just come out, we're getting a case for that in, in the next few weeks. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of, lot of variations. So we need to go and work through that uh, systematically. But uh, let me just zoom in so you can see exactly what I'm I just looked at my screen. You can't really see that, can you? I do apologize. Okay, that should be a little bit better. Okay, right. So just to reiterate, keywords, all right? So once you're in the keywords, it's these five sections here. And what you do is when you come here, it'll only have one open. What you need to do is just add more. So hit the add more button and they will open up uh, a new one. So then you add in your thousand characters there um, and then you just add more. The next section down is subject matter. All right. Now the tests show that, um, that these are now being indexed 100%. So make sure that we get relevant keywords in this particular field. All right. So we, we're going to go and change that. Rob and I are going to go and change that and, and the team. Uh, we're going to be looking at our keywords that people are buying on. And we're going to be making sure that they're going in the subject matter field here for all of our products, all of our children, all our variations. Okay. So that's really important really important okay so some of the other areas that you need to be looking at is description now the description um down here that's never really been indexed and, that, and that's a common thing and and that hasn't changed it's still not being indexed now what the description does is that allows you to describe your product in more detail that's what it's there for so if people do scroll down all right, and they and just have a look at it and say, you know what, I've got I've got one of these old iPads. Will it fit? So they'll come down here and say, you know what, yes, it does because here's a description of it. Okay, so this is basically just a descriptive part where you can actually tell a story with respect to what your product's all about. Bullet points. Um, bullet points are very very important now. These are getting more in the old days, as in um, last month and previous. Anything in here, any any keywords or or um, sort of key search terms was only being indexed about 15%, 15, 20%, something like that. Um, well, in the new Amazon, as in uh, as from uh, uh, May the 6th onwards, bullet points, the algorithm is now looking at the bullet points and it's taking this more seriously and it's now indexing around 70 to 80 percent of what you put into your bullet points so this is really really important now that we actually start to pay attention to what we put in the bullet points as opposed to just putting the the benefits or the features and benefits um, it's now important to put the benefits and keywords make sure we've got the relevant keywords in there whereas previously it didn't really matter that much because it was only about 15 percent and the rest of it was on this back end but um Anyway, let's have a look, see if our uh, index has been completed. Um, so as we can see here, we've got some, um, we've still got quite a few being indexed on the back end. Um, we've still got quite a few not being indexed on the back end. We've got more being not indexed. I'm still scrolling. Yeah, we're just finished now. Um, then we have indexed. Okay, so let me just scroll to the top of that and we can see I'm scrolling more on the right hand side clearly so you can see the size of this um, menu bar if I just move that down I'm down at the bottom already so therefore it's quite large because there's not many um, in there being indexed whereas over on the right hand side there's a lot smaller meaning the list is a lot longer in order for me to scroll down from the top to the bottom okay so that sort of shows that there's more of our products in that back end which is um, under keywords, under search terms. This is just the first 1,000 characters, don't forget, not all of them. Okay, we've got less 
to be an index than we have not indexed. All right, so that sort of shows um, some sort of correlation between our results and what the guy is running the experiment inside here. All right, so that's that's the indexing. So we know exactly where we are, and we've got our uh, tool. So let's have a look at the next tool, which is the optimizing generator. All right, this is a great little tool. So I'm just going to let that load. I'm just going to take a sip of the water. Hold on. Okay. So what this tool does, it allows you to create a listing. All right. So we've got um, certain sections in here. Uh, over on the left hand side, we've got all keywords, and we're going to put all of the keywords that we are interested in using throughout our listing. Now we've got the title, we've got a section over here on the title, um, and basically this is where you craft out your title. We've got bullet one, we've got bullet two, we've got bullet three, we've got bullet four, we've got bullet five, and we've got others. Now on the others, what I've been tending to do is make sure I'm using the others for the subject matter, okay? Just so I can understand exactly where I'm putting them. I just so I've got a copy of them. Um, so that that's basically what I'm using the others. You can actually use that for wherever you want. You could use that for um, notes or, or whatever, but so I'm using that for just to make sure that I don't forget to put in the subject matter. So that's five fields, and then you're only allowed 50 characters in each of these fields. Uh, so that's 50 characters. So that's pretty short, but it's a keyword, and it's one of your top keywords. Five, your top five keywords should go in here, all right, in this subject matter. All right, so that's basically what I'm using in there. All right, so what do we do now is we go back to our, our list over here, and we look at the, the keywords. You know, bearing in mind that um, I'm, I'm doing this on the fly, so what I would normally do is just organize this a little bit better. Um, such that I've got the some of these non-indexed words over into the area that I really, really want them. So cuff being one of them. Um, injury, I would probably use that because um, you injured your wrist. Um, it's pretty good to get that healed up as quickly as possible. And if you're using a copper magnetic brace or a copper bracer, that, that'd be pretty good. Knee, I'm not interested in brace. No, elbow, hands, gloves, knee, hand, uh, rheumatoid, uh, could be pretty good. So, you know, I would go through this and make sure I've got those in my keyword area. But um, but it's, uh, at the moment, what we could do, this is a CSV, this might work, might not. Um, so I would basically just come down here. I know what uh, another guy that's uh, selling this, the top seller is doing this. So I put that in there. And basically what's going to happen if I've done that correctly, I might have to, and this is say when I was doing this last night or, or over the weekend, this didn't necessarily work. So I'm just going to type in the word uh, small. Okay. And that didn't work. So basically what, I, what you need to do is just get this in the right format. Okay. So what's going to happen is every time I type one of the keywords from this list, it's just going to go down to used keywords. All right. So I've got three sections here. I've got all keywords, used keywords. So whenever I type in a particular keyword over in one of these fields on the right hand side, it's just going to jump into the used fields and it's going to remove it from here. So I've only got the unused ones left at the bottom here so i can squeeze them in wherever i want um but basically what i need to do is just um i'm just going to put a few in here just to show you the concept because that does take a little while to to go through that so i'm just going to write some of these down uh, so bear with me i know that i need um Bracelet. I also need a pain, copper. I'm just putting a space between these. Wrist, magnetic. I'm going to put in arthritis as well. 
arthritis. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that just to show you the concept so we can see all of the keywords in there. Down the bottom here, you'll be able to see unused keywords because I haven't used any yet. All right. And, and what you'll be able to do is just go through and craft out your title. So your title could well be, and I'm just going to use some shortcuts here. This is not the way to do it, guys. This is not the way to do it. Just copy and paste your, your competitor's keywords. But um, I'm just going to use this as inspiration. Um, so I'm going to go, I'm not going to go um, uh, pure. I'm going to go um, solid. Copper, right? You can now see that copper has now dropped into there because that's one of my keywords, and you can see it's down now been removed from the bottom section up here. All right, so I've now got bracelet pain, wrist magnetic, and arthritis left to use. So solid copper. Flip. Hundred percent purity to help um, wrist pain and arthritis. Okay, and you, and you would go on and on. So let's have a look. Um, see what we've got down here. So we've got magnetic to use. Now, obviously, you would have all of your keywords in here that you want to actually use within your listing. I'm just showing you the uh, the concept behind this. And again, what you would do is make sure that you're using relevant keywords. Don't forget, we had our relevancy score over in the over on our first download. Okay. So this is our complete list of um, keywords with a relevancy score you need to make sure that you're getting all of your best relevant keywords so I would I would uh, target this and upwards because it's greater than one anything less than one is still okay um, but it's less relevant than the top one I would make sure I'm using all of these keywords plus those that are already indexed plus those keywords over here that are not being indexed by a competitor. All right. So that's the way I would actually do this. And this is not a five minute job. You, you need to actually go through this and, and think about it. But I'm just showing you the concept. So once you've got, I'm just going to do the real, real shortcut just to show you exactly how this works. Um, so bullet one, bullet two, you, you obviously spend quite a bit of time on this. Bullet three, bullet four, bullet five. And once you've done, all the rest of it and basically what I'm going to do here is look at our relevant keywords copper bracelets I definitely want that in my back end in fact I want um, these top five here all right basically what I'm going to do there I'm going to put that in the other just so it reminds me to put those into the subject matter field Okay, now what you can do now is this is your listing. Obviously, you spent a little bit more time in it than I have. Um, and what you can do is just copy that, come back over to your back end, and just copy and paste them into relevant areas. Okay, simple as that. And what you've, what you've been able to do is um, I'm going to just throw a magnetic in there. Um, bang. Uh, with magnetic properties so therefore I've now used up all of my keywords that we had up the top here and they're all without um, throughout my listing um, now I'm just going to reiterate that this is purely just copy paste just to get through this because we're, we're running out of time now but you would spend quite a bit of time on this working through making sure you've got all of your relevant keywords in a succinct and meaningful listing all right meaningful listing so it would actually read correctly make sure in your bullet points you've got the benefits what's the benefit why would i actually buy a copper bracelet why well because it does this, 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 and this. It's got this type of um, 
it, it cures pain. It helps with arthritis. You know, if you've got an injury on your wrist, it will help the cure that better and quicker and, and all the rest of it. Um, but make sure you've got your relevant keywords in those description in, in those descriptions in these bullet points. All right. So basically, what you've done there is once you've done that, you can copy and paste, and you can also download the complete file so you've got that for future use. All right. So which I always do, I always download everything once we've got that. Now the last one is a little bit um a little bit advanced, but that's the, the pay-per-click generator. Now I'm gonna leave this one for the moment because you need to get your product up, you need to get it listed, you need to get it optimized, you need to get uh, reviews in before we actually start to think about uh, turning on pay-per-click. Um, pay but uh, again, this is a great little tool, uh, and we're going to cover that once we come to, to pay-per-click time. Um, so just to reiterate, this is AZ Mazo. So that's A-Z-M-A-Z-O as a tool. Um, I think Rob might have uh, a link if we want to get that. We're going to get that out to everybody. We're going to send out some information on this um, via email. Uh, we're going to put it into the Facebook group uh, and stuff like that. But um, I, if, Rob, if you can just hey, finish off, I, I, I hope that was a good walkthrough. Yeah, that, that was fantastic. I'm not actually an affiliate for this at the moment. Um, and I'm speaking with the owner um right now and trying to get us a special deal for all of the gorillas tribe right now so um that should happen in the next 48 hours um anyway so that's what i'm working on right now but i, I think that last tool is an amazing tool because i mean you gotta imagine trying to write a listing and trying to make sure you get all your keywords in there and this thing basically pulls it out for you so you don't have to repeat which is a totally uh, cool thing to be able to do because it shows you you're using the keywords and you're not repeating keywords and those kind of things as well. Um, so that's super cool. Guys, I, I think that's a pretty good overview of how you can optimize your keywords um, and get them indexed. Super important. Get your keywords indexed. If you don't have them indexed, no one can find you. Um, and, uh, and this tool will also allow you to, in the future, um, it'll allow you to continue to keep an eye on your listing and make sure that the same things are happening as you go forward. Because I've been watching, I've been watching wild swings in this um, to see these things go on wildly and the changes wildly here lately. So um, it's important to do this and to use this in your listing. This will give you a significant advantage in your uh, process so there you go that's the uh gorillas update for the week does anybody have any questions that they have right now about any of this any questions from the gallery uh if you're interested if you'd like we're going to post right now we're going to post your uh, uh we're going to post the link for you to come on down to the uh, front um, if you'd like to stay afterwards and chat about um, anything particular in your business or any questions you have about any products, um, you can do that and then we'll stick around and chat with anybody that wants to come around. So all you got to do is click that link in the chat box right now um, and you can um, come on and have a personal chat with us. Hey, we appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with us today. Again, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and click the uh, link there in the chat and we'll uh, join with you and we can talk and answer any questions you might have at all about your business. That's what we're here for. If you got a particular problem, it might be, uh, you know, about your shipping or about evaluating a product or whatever it might be, all questions will be answered and we'll stick around until your uh, questions are answered today. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. We're going to stay in the room here once we hang up. Uh, we're going to stop the live broadcast, but again, we will stay in the room here for a minute or two uh, to make sure if anybody has any questions, they can come down and ask us. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Or on the uh, – Thanks, the Shane. Room, bye -bye. A lot of questions this week, too, in the uh, Gorillas Base Camp. So that's a good place if you get stock. I, I know, <clears throat> know some of the ladies this week – um, had some questions and we were able to get them answered. Actually, some of the uh, members actually answered before I could get to it. 
Um, I think I was on an opposite schedule, so I was about 10 hours behind, and uh, they got their questions answered. So make sure you're using the Gorillas Base Camp as a great place to get questions answered if you need them very quickly. All right, guys. See you later, Paul. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening.